विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नमे नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारणे निर्विशेष शून्यवाणी पश्चाती Please accept my most humble obeisances in the shade of your lotus feet which give cooling shelter to fallen souls such as myself who are victimized by the blazing fire of samsara it is stated in the kasi khanda na chavante chayat bhakta mahatyam palya padithi ato chutte kile loke sa eka sarvavago vayavam the devotees of the lord never annihilate their individual existence even after the dissolution of the entire cosmic manifestation the lord and the devotees who associate with him are always eternal both in the material and spiritual worlds as lord krishna eternally exists within and without all things so do you shiva prabhupada exist eternally with krishna in his inconceivable glory those who evoke lord krishna by the chanting of his holy name also evoke you those who see the eternal lord in his archa vigraha incarnation certainly see you with him those who are acquainted with the nectarian ocean of krishna's unlimited divine qualities know that you eternally sport in that ocean those who relish krishna's transcendental pastimes likewise relish your participation in them those who have actually developed a relationship with the lord have developed a relationship with you but if that kind of association with your divine grace is beyond the means of the meager spiritual realization of many souls in this dark age then sanjaya's testimony in the last verse of bhagavad gita gives even the materialists a clear indication of where to look for you shri upa wherever opulence victory extraordinary power and morality are in super excellent abundance there shri krishna the master of all mystics and you the supreme preacher must be bestowing mercy upon the wretched of this kali age where in this world can we see such mercy only in your iskon manifestation shri upa by the mercy of your iskon manifestation the spiritually unqualified can engage in the five most potent devotional activities association with devotees service to the deity hearing of shrimad bhagavatam chanting of the holy name of krishna and living in a holy place whether these are done only slightly or with little faith as long as they are done without offense these activities are so wonderfully powerful that they propel anyone to the transcendental platform of your personal association my mercy is for everyone you once explained but you meaning your sincere followers are taking it taking your mercy in your physical absence remains the practical affair it always was for as mentioned before you are eternally associated with krishna service to krishna is a most practical affair as was explained by krishna himself to arjuna those devotees who realize your mercy today are realizing it in this way as your disciples realized it in the good old days of your iskon founder acharya leela the proof of this is practically apparent sadhu shastra kripa yadi krishna nuka hoy sei jeeva nishtari maya tahare chadoy if the conditioned soul becomes krishna conscious by the mercy of saintly persons who voluntarily preach scriptural injunctions and help him to become krishna conscious the conditioned soul is liberated from the clutches of maya who gives him up from chaitanya charitamrita mandala chapter 20 verse 120 from the purport saintly persons sadhus vaishnav devotees of the lord preach krishna consciousness on the basis of vedic literature 
It is only by their mercy that the conditioned soul is awakened to Krishna consciousness. When awakened, he is no longer eager to enjoy the materialistic way of life. Instead, he devotes himself to the loving, transcendental service of the Lord. When one engages in the Lord's devotional service, he becomes detached from material enjoyment. Bhakti parishanu bhavo viraktir anyatra chaisatvika eka kala. Bhagavatam. This is the test by which one can tell whether he is advancing in devotional service. One must be detached from material enjoyment. Such detachment means that Maya has actually given the conditioned soul liberation from illusory enjoyment. Srila Prabhupada, I am convinced more than ever that the release of the jivas from the bondage of illusion depends upon your say-so. For you are with Krishna, the Lord of Maya. When you request Krishna to order Maya to release a soul who becomes attached to your message as preached by your representatives, that soul's material life comes to an end. And if you don't, that unfortunate soul has no hope of liberation. This is confirmed by the Lord Himself. Sri Bhagavan Vacha Am Bhakta Paradino Yashva Tantra Eva Dvija Sadhavya Grasta Hridayo Bhaktaya Bhakta Janakriya The Supreme Personality of God is said to the Brahmana, I am completely under the control of my devotees. Indeed, I am not at all independent. Because my devotees are completely devoid of material desires, I sit only in the core of their hearts. What to speak of my devotee, even those who are devotees of my devotee, are very dear to me. From Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 9, Chapter 4, Text 63. Srila Prabhupada, whatever faults are visible in me are due to one mistake, my forgetting your continued mercy upon my head. You once said, as soon as you think I'll be able to do it, in other words, get released from Maya, you are a rascal. You cannot get released. Therefore, Krishna says, I'll do it. Practical means it will be done by Krishna. Your only business is to surrender to Krishna. With this Sri Vyas Puja offering, I declare that I have grown so very weary of my stubborn rascaldom in the past two decades of my service to you. I thank you for not kicking this nonsense pretender away from your lotus feet during all these years of offenses. I now recommit myself to fully surrendering to those ever merciful lotus feet. Please consider me at your full disposal and use me for whatever purpose you wish. I can see so clearly now that you and Sri Krishna are always with me. I ask only that I be always with you as a servant, an insignificant servant who receives your orders through a chain of command of billions, but your servant nonetheless. Respiring servant, so is one. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. No, sure. movement be brought to this country. So, although he could not come, in your own way you have introduced Krishna consciousness here to the agency of different servants at your lotus feet. And as you can see, there is now a, a small but growing community of devotees. <clears throat> and they're very nice devotees.
apply it to divine grace. And in this way, you will bestow your causelessness upon me. In this way, I hope that this Krishna consciousness mission in Bulgaria will be able to flourish. And as your desire will be fulfilled, you expressed this desire that Krishna consciousness be spread in this country many years ago. So somehow I have been requested by leading members of this movement to assist in fulfilling your desire here. So, personally, I don't know how to do this. But I know you're most merciful. So please bless everyone, <coughs> every one of these nice devotees, that they may serve you and increase their service and spread your teachings, your books, your movement to every town and village of Bulgaria. Shiva Baba Ki On the occasion of either the appearance or disappearance day of his spiritual master, made a an observation about his own disciples. So he uh, said that he sees that his disciples are sent to him by his own spiritual master. Mm. So Srila Prabhupada was very, expressed very deep gratitude to his disciples on that occasion. Declaring that uh, they have come by the mercy of his Guru Maharaj to help him in executing his spiritual master's mission. So, uh, this shows that the spiritual master does not actually see his disciples as his disciples. Rather, as representatives of his own spiritual master. <coughs> And so the spiritual master tries, he's simply trying to serve his spiritual master by serving his disciples, instructing them properly. <coughs> and similarly, uh, those of you who are my disciples, I know that you see me as Srila Prabhupada's representative. Srila Prabhupada is the most rare Mahabhagavata. A Shaktyavesh avatar of Krishna. Uh, empowered to spread the Sankirtan movement throughout the whole world. And so, likewise, his disciples must also be rare souls. Mm -hmm. 
So it is naturally our great fortune that in this dark age of Kali Yuga we have the opportunity to associate with the disciple of Srila Prabhupada. Mm. So you are taking your spiritual master as the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. Your spiritual master is taking you, his disciples, as the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> So Srila Prabhupada is in the center of this relationship. Right. Now some people, there are some persons who are acquainted with our movement, Krishna Consciousness Movement, who have devised a new philosophy. This philosophy is that since Srila Prabhupada is Shaktivesh avatar, he is uh, uh, actually in that way can be understood as even you can say incarnation of Krishna and he is present in his books and his tapes and his letters <coughs> Mm-hmm. Then we need only accept Srila Prabhupada. Mm-hmm. So there is no need to receive initiation from a disciple of Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> After all, initiation means, as Prabhupada says, diksha means transmission of spiritual knowledge. So spiritual knowledge is there in Prabhupada's books? So, isn't that enough? Prabhupada is so great. Uh-huh. No, actually, this is not proper philosophy. Because this knowledge, this gyan, transcendental knowledge, must manifest practically. In fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita, in where that famous verse is, where Krishna says, Tadvidi paripatena pariprashnena saving. We instructs Arjuna to approach spiritual master and surrender to him. <coughs> the knowledge, the vidi, which is being spoken of, is knowledge of sacrifice. Knowledge of how to act in this world free of karma. Uh, also in that fourth chapter, the statement is made. Yanagni dagda karmanam. The one who actually has yang, transcendental knowledge, this yang then burns up the reaction of work. Mm-hmm. So this is why we must accept the living, the present uh, representative of Srila Prabhupada. <coughs> Because this knowledge in Srila Prabhupada's book, just like it's like fire in wood. The knowledge is in Prabhupada's books, the fire is in wood. But you must touch that wood with the fire in order for the fire in the wood to come out. 
също, когато в едно дело и мога така и знанието да пише от това, но за да извлечем огън от дървото, ние трябва да го докоснем с друг огън. So, the spiritual master comes to initiate, initiate means to begin, uh, this process of Krishna consciousness in the life of the disciple. Now, it's true, everything is there in Prabhupada's books. Krishna is there in our hearts. Mm -hmm. But the process must be initiated and must be conducted under the guidance of the spiritual master. This is the transcendental system. Uh, sometimes you'll find Srila Prabhupada calls it a mystery. Uh -huh. The mystery is that Lord Krishna is in our heart. The mystery is that in Chaitanya Charitamrita it is explained, Nitya Siddha Krishna Premi, you are already eternally liberated lover of Krishna. Or as we've been saying, all the knowledge is there in Srila Prabhupada's books. But although it is there for you, for anyone to take benefit from it in one's practical life, one must accept the current link in the disciplic succession. Otherwise, the fire of Krishna consciousness cannot actually be ignited. The knowledge remains theoretical. One may become, I have seen people like this, a very uh, knowledgeable in the theory of the philosophy. But their habits, their life remains mundane. Because they do not, they're not able to initiate sacrifice. Without the shelter and direction of the spiritual master. Mm -hmm. So, this is why this day the Sri Vyasa Puja ceremony is so important to honor the current link in the transmission of this great science of Krishna consciousness. Because it is by this link that the whole process unfolds. And it's the most wonderful thing. <laughs> it's like Lord Chaitanya speaking with Ramananda Roy. He he said, My dear Ramananda Roy, I am one madman, you are one madman. <laughs> Something is passing between us. Mm -hmm. The Lord Chaitanya was indicating that this transcendental knowledge, which was being generated by their association, was under neither one's control. 
название, поэтому неграмотность я ничего не имею, но я не трогаю, но не то и делать. Again, like fire. Huh? So when the spiritual master is proper, the disciple is proper, then spontaneously out of the association of the two, the relationship between the two, uh, the, the uh, wonderful, most wonderful, transcendental uh, taste, taste and knowledge and experience of Krishna consciousness, devotional service, uh, spontaneously manifest. Srila Prabhupada, he was uh, so often amazed by the service of his disciples. When he visited, when he, when he was shown the uh, uh, museum that was uh, built in Los Angeles, in this museum there was on display uh, a very beautiful model of the universal form and there was also in one room the murti of Srila Prabhupada who was uh, he was sitting at a desk this murti and writing and when one comes in that room, then the Murti looks up <laughs> to see who is coming. <laughs> so when Srila Prabhupada was shown this Murti, he came in and he saw <laughs> himself sitting there and then looking up at himself. <laughs> So this was a great surprise for Shiva Prabhupada. And he uh, responded with wonder, a mixture of wonder and humility, and also great appreciation for the service of his disciples. It's, it's also just, just like at the end of Bhagavad Gita, Sanjaya says, wherever there is Krishna and wherever there is Arjuna, there will be uh, opulence, there will be morality, there will be dharma, there will be so many wonderful things. Mm. So, we should <coughs> meditate on these things today. As I said, I, I don't see any of you here today as being my disciples, like something I keep in my pocket. <laughs> I see you as Srila Prabhupada's representatives. Uh -huh. And you are seeing me similarly as Srila Prabhupada's representative. And we are all working together to realize Srila Prabhupada's program for Krishna Consciousness. In a very hellish <laughs> condition, a very hellish place. Uh -huh. Very difficult circumstances. <laughs> But as we've been explaining, also in some lectures here, these difficulties are also very advantageous. 
Because when Krishna sees his devotees struggling to serve him against so many odds, he becomes even more pleased. So, I can see in these years that I've been coming here, uh, how Srila Prabhupada's plan is manifesting more and more. Mm. And I am convinced that this plan uh, will manifest beyond anybody's expectation. Because this is Krishna again. <laughs> Krishna is most wonderful and most merciful to his devotees. Mm. But we should always keep in mind that the spark, the spark by which this wonderful, we can again compare to flame, great <coughs> fire of sacrifice of Sankirtan, the actual spark that ignites everything is this relationship between spiritual master and disciple. <laughs> And if that spark is made damp due to offenses, then everything is finished. So therefore we have this day to counteract the chance of offenses. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Prabhupada's transcendental Sankirtan movement ki
there for me to Have you ever been there? Coco Beato Bruno. Yeah, yeah. Така се жалко, че не ми е Да, да, да. 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 Да, да, Последната кулинарна книга. Ето тук също има за храна. Само може да я си. Ако ти дойде да ги реклама на тия. Да, но. Плачетата. Ето, да. 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 Ето,